What up, it's your boy King Dow 225 coming at you with another reactionary video. So hit that like and subscribe, become part of the kingdom. More problematic police. Man, I was hate watching. I admit, I do that sometimes. Uh, Officer Tatum, uh, black conservative perspective. I call him Uncle Ruckus and, you know, tap dancing Toby. Man, like black, not not black people. They say people always want to talk about defund. Not me. I say reform, reform the police department because I understand that society is necessary to have police. Or it'll be chaos in the streets. But they always talk about defund the police. They don't come with no solutions. False. I got buku solutions. I got a lot of ideas. I thought long and hard about this shit. First thing, it shouldn't be a the the police force should match the community that is policing. Meaning, I shouldn't see uh, if it's a black neighborhood, I should see black officers, black captains, black supervisors, black all that. I shouldn't see no white officers in my neighborhood should have therapy sessions at least twice a month. They should have stringent, I'm talking about like who your granddaddy is, background checks. Do they have racist history? All these ideas I have. I mean like, oh, that's just extreme, King. How you just gonna like say it shouldn't have white officers in the, in the black neighborhoods? All right. How about a form of equality then. How about we have, say, black officers that's very pro-black, pro you know, B1 and such and whatnot, almost to the level where they have an undercurrent of distaste for white people. Let's have a majority of those police officers patrolling white neighborhoods and see how well that would go. I can almost guarantee you the murders wouldn't be the rate of which we get gunned down because I ain't going to say that. I ain't going to say what I was thinking, but I'm saying what I'm saying. But I bet you it'd be a lot of pity, you know, tickets and arrests and, you know, that wouldn't go over well, would it? So, how you think my community feel? They have these ideas. That's what I be trying to take. The, the mind of a police. I have a boo cool family members, homeboys that's police officers, and they still black. I fucks with these dudes. But the mind of a police officer, like that needs to be tested and measured at all measured at all times. You get me? Like, it shouldn't be no, oh, he, he passed the test. We ain't got to evaluate him no more. No, you should evaluate his ass at all times. Now, I want you to hear what this police chief say. You think I'm I'm overreaching. Let's read what it says first before I play the video. I shot that nigga 119 times. Mississippi police chief fired after racist recording leaks bragging about killing 13 people and shooting a black suspect. And it is Mississippi. Oh my God. Lexington, Mississippi. A former Lexington police chief is out of a job after the board of aldermen voted to remove him on a narrow vote, a narrow vote. Do you hear me? Narrow vote. At a special meeting Wednesday, the board voted three to eight to oust and battle Chief Sam Dobson's days after expletive lace. Racist recording said to be him was made public. Robert Lee Hooker, a former officer with Lexington, Made a uh, roughly 16-minute recording. He says the recording is a conversation between him and Dobson. 
and that happened back in April. Man on the recording who Hooker says is Dobson used numerous ex expletives and multiple racial epithets and derogatory terms and bragged about shooting one, spec one suspect at least 119 times. I heard the video and I think it's cap, but it's still an issue that, you know what, I'm going to say it later. Hooker resigned from the department last week, citing a toxic work environment. Wonder why. Sound like you're a black man. That's what I got to hear from my motherfucking police chief. Lexi Mayor Robin McCrory did not want to be interviewed, but said the leaked audio led to Dobson's termination. Why are you? Why are you? See how they be fake friends? You the motherfucking mayor. You you for the people. You are supposed to speak out. Oh, but that's my friend. That's how power works. That's how the racist system is. You know what I'm talking about? They'll look past the fact that this dude is problematic because we go to dinner on Saturdays. As a, we, our families go out to eat. Let's get to the video. power he talk like this all the time i think he capped who the fuck got a, a 120 clip as a police officer you got that many rounds you reloaded that many times and you got off on it if it's true with the fact that you think like this and you are in a position of power in front of a black man i ain't gonna lie one of the things I hate the most, you know, is when a motherfucker come at me like he got this black scent, you know. I don't want to say white people, but, you know, it's white people. Like, you at work and they want, what up, brother? Like, what the fuck, man? Get your ass out of here with that shit. Don't talk like me because you, man, I feel like a nigga trying to talk down to me when, I, when, they, when, when they trying to black scent. But that's neither here nor there. If he capping or not, it goes to what I'm speaking on. The mind of an officer. How does he think? Who is he? Always supposed to be tested. I don't want you to think, oh, he got past the academy. So he good. No, I don't need this motherfucker to see a therapist. Every two weeks. You come pick up your check. You go see the therapist. Oh. Uh, how are you feeling? W w let's talk about your family history. You know. When your, grand when your granddad. Didn't like black people. How do you feel about that? Hit that like. Subscribe. Become part of the kingdom. They don't want to see it. I mean. They don't want to see the, the facts staring them in their face. They don't want to believe it. That they have problematic policing. They don't want to, don't want to look at history. Like the slave catchers turn to policemen. They don't want to believe that. 